Are you looking for the best budget 3D printer 2025? In this video we will look at some of the 6 best budget 3D printer on the market. Before we get started with our video. Click in the description link to buy good quality products. At number 1. Anycubic Cobra 2 3D Printer. Why we picked it. Among the things we look for in an entry-level 3D printer are a low price, ease of setup and use, largely problem-free operation, and solid print quality. The Anycubic Cobra 2 ticks off all these boxes, plus it's one of the fastest 3D printers we've tested. It lists at just $279 and is easy to use, too, with a unique extruder made to print as fast as possible. For software, it works with the popular open-source Cora program we've seen with numerous other 3D printers, but it also comes with the Prusa Slicer app, with tons of editing options for new and advanced users. Who it's for? This Anycubic printer is great for newbies thanks to its bargain price, easy setup, and fast operation. Although its output in our tests was nearly misprint-free, print quality was unspectacular, with detailing that makes it a less-than-optimal choice for intermediate or expert users. Still, it's a fine, low-risk first platform for those getting their feet wet in 3D printing. Number 2. Creality Ender 3S1 Pro 3D Printer Why we picked it the Creality Ender 3S1 Pro provides good value in an open-frame 3D printer, offering a large print area for its price. Although the S1 Pro comes in kit form, it's largely pre-assembled, so it should be easy enough for even a non-techie to put together, and it produced quality prints in our testing. For software, you can use either Cora or the company's own Creality Slicer. The Ender 3S1 Pro works with a variety of filament types, including PLA, ABS, PTG, PA, wood composite, and TPU. Its print bed leveling process, which combines manual and automatic routines, proved slightly cumbersome, but it was easier than on other Creality printers we have reviewed. Setup instructions could be better, and the diagrams are cramped, but fortunately some third-party sites offer useful videos and other getting acquainted help. Who it's for? The Ender 3S1 Pro is aimed at 3D printing newcomers with a DIY mindset, as well as tinkerers on a budget. If you're looking for a plug-and-play 3D printer to get up and running as quickly as possible, you should look elsewhere, as print bed leveling can be a challenge. That said, you do learn a lot about how 3D printers work by assembling your own, even with a relatively simple kit like this one. Number 3. Anchor Make M5C 3D Printer Why we picked it the AnchorMake M5C OpenFrame 3D printer is easy to assemble and to use. It has a generous print area for its price, and the prints we produced were of high quality, even with the default settings in the slicer software. Having the ability to control the printer from a mobile device is a nice touch. We also like the availability of the fast 500mm per second mode. The M5C supports printing with a wide variety of filaments including PLA, PLA+, PTG, ABS, TPU, carbon fiber, and wood composite. AnchorMake provides its own software for print preparation, but according to the company you can alternatively use Ultimaker Cura or Prusa Slicer. Who it's for? The M5C's included toolkit adds even more value for people just starting a 3D printing hobby, with Allen wrenches, a filament cutter, and an extra extruder nozzle. Overall, the $400 AnchorMake M5C is an excellent choice for both beginners and 3D printing veterans. Number 4. Toybox 3D Printer Why we picked it The Toybox 3D Printer is a device that kids can enjoy with minimal supervision and use to output some nifty toys. A parent will be needed for initial setup, which involves setting up a free account, downloading an app, and syncing your device with the printer and there should always be an adult around during use by younger children. You can print from a mobile device or through a browser, selecting printable objects from Toybox's generous selection or designing your own. Printing proved smooth, with no misprints. Filament-wise, it's PLA only, which is the best choice for beginners. Who it's for? The Toybox 3D printer is designed for use by children and young people. Toybox Labs suggests a minimum age of 5, as well as adult supervision. The printer should be fun for people of any age, printing with it is a good activity to bring parents and children together. 
You can import and print 3D files from outside its ecosystem, but the process can be tricky. That, combined with its minuscule build area and the fact that its filament is limited to PLA, make the Toybox a specialty printer unsuitable for general use, but it's a great choice for its young target audience. Number 5. Sobel SV06 3D Printer The Sobel's SV06 made a lot of waves when it launched. The machine is a clone of the ever-popular original Prusa i3 series but for a fraction of the price. Where Prusa i3 machines can cost as much as $1,099, the SV06 offers similar hardware for just $209. That's not to say the systems are the same, Prusa's software and quality control are next level, but the SV06 manages to offer a similarly great experience for a very accessible price. Part of that experience is the SV06's auto calibration routines that handle the mesh bed leveling of the 220 by 220 by 250 mm fixed bed with an inductive sensor and level the x-axis that rides on a dual-driven Z, eliminating some of the more tedious maintenance routines. It's not completely hands-off, though, something newer systems at this price point are starting to offer. The one thing to watch out for when considering the SV06 is its poor performance with flexible materials. The system's direct extruder with planetary gearing performs great with rigid filament, but we found flexibles tend to get caught up in the gearing and jam. But, given the all-metal hot end, you can still use more rigid high-temperature filaments than is typical for machines in its price range. During our review, we also found the SV06's TMC2209 stepper motors to be remarkably quiet, making for a tidy home printing solution. It's an excellent machine, suitable for enthusiasts looking for something hassle-free or for beginners who want to tap into the community experience of a popular system. Number 6. Creality Ender 3V3 SE 3D Printer The Creality Ender 3V3 SE sets a new baseline for cheap 3D printing, blending a familiar form with the beginner-friendly fully automatic bed leveling and self-offsetting to give effortlessly perfect first layers. Its standard features run to a 220 by 220 by 250 mm build volume, with a Sprite Dual Gear Direct Extruder feeding filament to a hot end that tops out at 260 degrees Celsius. Printing through the full height is served by dual Z-axis motors, ensuring stability throughout. In our time printing with the Ender 3 v 3 sa we found it to be a little workhorse. While it lacks the flashier features and firmware of today's pricier machines, it runs Marlin firmware out of the box, it offers a fuss-free printing experience that's a clear evolution on similar machines from previous years. The removable magnetic print bed can be a bit fussy to return to position after a print, and there's no filament sensor, which is an odd omission these days, even at this price point. But all in all, a simple yet refined cheap 3D printer.